Welcome to the Optimized Radial Keyboard Key Location Quick Guide. It is recommended that you run this short tutorial about three times. Before you start, print out the blank keyboard diagram that accompanies this tutorial. Just pause the video until you have this blank sheet ready. Now we can begin. The first group of letters are a set of four acronyms and mnemonics. What I would like you to do is just learn the acronyms and mnemonics associated with each of the letters. View, then visualize the acronyms and mnemonics location on the keyboard. So moving from left to right across the keyboard, we have JB, James Bond, PC, personal computer, GV, great value, XL, extra large. Again, just visualize the locations on the keyboard. Now to reinforce that, let's look at them again, but this time you will only see the letters. Let's see if you can remember what they stand for. Once again, looking at the location of each group of letters on the keyboard. Okay, now let's look at them again, but this time you will only see the areas where the letters should be. The green area is JB James Bond. The blue area is PC Personal Computer. Red is GV Great Value. And purple is XL Extra Large. Now let's reinforce that again. JB James Bond XL Extra Large PC Personal Computer and GV Great Value. Now pause the video and see if you can fill in on the blank sheet provided where each of the acronyms and mnemonics should be. Now moving on to our second set of letters using keywords. There are two keywords. Again, learn the words, view, then visualize their location on the keyboard. Notice that they run in a line along the lower wings, as it were, of the B-Raider keyboard. So you have M, not Earl. That's M, not Earl. So let's reinforce this again, looking at the keywords. Recall the words and visualize the locations. You can see here, you have M to the left of the red area, the red area is not, and the blue area is Earl. Now let's look at the words tip. Recall these words on the keyboard. Earl, not, M not. Now pause the video and see if you can fill in on the blank keyboard sheet where each of the words are located. Moving on to vowels. Recall, view, then visualize the location on the keyboard. So you can see here, A-E-I-O-U, that's A-E-I-O-U. You will notice that they run right to left in sequence with the exception of O over on the left side. So that's A-E-I over to the O and back to the U. Let's look at that again, just with the area highlighted in yellow. So you have A-E-I over to O and back up to U. That's A-E-I-O-U. Now let's look at the vowel test along with some of the other words, acronyms and mnemonics you have already learned. Again, I would like you to pause the video and using the blank keyboard diagram you printed off, see if you can remember where each of the above acronyms and words are located. Now, if you are ready, we will move on to the second set of acronyms and mnemonics. Again, learn the acronyms and mnemonics. View, then visualize where each is located on the keyboard. Moving left to right, we have DS Deep Space, UK, United Kingdom, FY, Forever Young. So Deep Space, United Kingdom, Forever Young. Now, let's reinforce these. We will recall them and then recall what they stand for. So again, we will visualize them on the keyboard. Yellow is Deep Space, Red is United Kingdom, Blue is Forever Young. Again, Yellow, DS, Deep Space, Red, UK, United Kingdom, Blue, FY, Forever Young. Now test yourself on these new letters along with the first set of acronyms and mnemonics you learned earlier. Once again, pause the video and using your blank keyboard diagram, see if you can remember where each of the pairs of letters are located.
Moving on to our third set of acronyms and mnemonics. Again, learn the acronym or mnemonic, view, then visualize their location on the keyboard. So we have here two sets, ZQ, zero quantity, HW, hard work. That's ZQ, zero quantity, HW, hard work. Again, look exactly where they are located on the keyboard itself. So let's recall them. Recall the acronym or mnemonic. View and visualize the location on the keyboard. The green area represents ZQ, zero quantity, and the red area, HW, hard work. Moving on to the test sheet, we will recall the acronyms and mnemonics. Visualize their location on the keyboard. And once again, pause the video and see if you can remember where each of the acronyms and mnemonics should go. Now moving on to the revision sheet. At this stage we have completed all the acronyms and mnemonics, so again we will recall them all, view and visualize their location on the keyboard. Once again, just pause the video and using the blank keyboard diagram provided, see if you can fill in each of the acronyms and mnemonics represented here by each of the highlighted areas. Now, let's look at the words and vowels revision. Again, we will recall the words and vowels, view and visualize their location on the keyboard. At this point, pause the video once again and using the blank keyboard diagram provided, see if you can fill in each of the words and vowels represented here by each of the highlighted areas. That completes the guide to the alpha key locations on the optimized B Reader keyboard. One final note, using the optimized keyboard layout may be slow for the first few days, but it is recommended that if you are having difficulty remembering where a key is located, Either look away from the keyboard or close your eyes and visualize the acronym, mnemonic or word associated with that letter. And then you should be able to recall quite easily the location on the keyboard. You should only have to do this once or twice to enhance finger muscle memory. Thank you for purchasing an optimized B-Reader keyboard. Be faster, be efficient, B-Reader.